Hello the folks and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. Today it is time for part 77 of Season 4 and the quarterfinal of the Gibraltar Open. Between ourselves, Neil Robertson and the juggernaut Judd Trump. Now Judd Trump has beaten us in our last two matches. We saw him thrash us to be quite honest at the Grand Prix in the quarterfinal. We can see he was a better player that day. But it was a much closer affair in the semi-final of the Scottish Open. We took it down to a decider. Made a little bit of a blunder and Judd cleared up from there. So a bit of heartbreak. And in our other big match of the season as well, the semi-final of the Shanghai Masters, we weren't on the same level as Judd Trump in that match. So only one victory, actually two victories, sorry, in Season 4 against Judd Trump in the last 16 of the World Open and the quarter-final of the Northern Ireland Open. So hopefully we can reset that head-to-head -head record, uh, record and make it free a piece today. But I hope you're all good. Let's get into this match. Really excited for this one. We've been on, well, it'd be kind to say we've been on a, a poor run of form recently. We've struggled to get our eye in, really, and, and make bigger breaks. And hopefully we can arrest that slump in today's match against Judd Trump. It, it's said usually that when your opponent plays well, that you either react to that and, and play that sort of standard, or, as we saw in the Grand Prix quarter final, we don't react to that at all. But let's see how we go. It's a best of seven, a slightly short match. We'll be showing all of this on camera today. And hopefully we'll be able to get through to the semi-final. A reminder, if you didn't watch the last 16, that we've made the final of this event in the last two years, only to come runner-up. So hopefully we can continue that form, but make it one better in our final season of the Neil Robertson pro career. But Judd Trump, not going to be easy to get past him today. So Judd Trump breaks off for the opening frame. Interesting, Reddy's left. Tricky pot. On the side, Kush. Just trying to get back around without hitting the red, but we've not played that too well. However, I'd say we've pretty much got away with it without leaving anything easy on. No, not this time. Well, thanks for that, Dave Hendon. They seem to think I was going for the pot. I certainly wasn't. We were trying to get the cue ball, in fact, pretty much where the red is, and actually we haven't got away with it. You could see... That red nice through the pack. I thought he wouldn't have been able to see that, but he did. So we haven't got away with that shot. And an early chance for Judd Trump to make a score in this opening frame. Nicely played. Seven. Eight. Fifteen. Been a bit fortunate with that red coming out the pack. Could have ended up right on the cushion, but it's ended up as, again, on Snooker 19. A bit of a sitter in real life. These aren't easy. But on the game, a lot easier. Just a tap in from there. And as you can see, he's done it nicely. But we'll see whether he can take the full potential of this uh, this break, potentially, here. Because he's going to play a bulk colour. He's going to play the brown. And then he needs a long pot. He's got that red up bulk as well, which makes safety a little bit more tricky. Which actually he's going to get rid of now. I thought he was going to play the longer pot on the red that's free. 21. And if he wants to go into the pack here, it's fair to say he's overdone this on the blue. So what does he play here? 26. Interesting. So really just a one-trick pony now. He's only got this one red now, that will pot. This into the right corner. And he's going to have to play a split shot here, but he's right on the cush. I don't see him doing anything from this position. It's pot of the yellow, but it'll just be a safety from there, unless you can see a plant or some shot that goes. I didn't think so. Just 29 made by Judd Trump. Judd Trump, 29. But he's not let that red out. That's a, that's a clever shot from old Judd. Played something similar earlier, which gave him a chance. So we're trying to get back to a fairly similar position. We're too thick on the brown. Mm. That had got the pace, but it's just been completely stopped in its tracks by the brown there. And Judge straight back in here. And now he's got his chance, which he hadn't got previously. He couldn't get the cue ball position. Now's his chance to open up the reds. And you can see it's gone well. We've had little power to do anything to resist this in this first frame. Very good safety shot play from the outset to, to cover the red. And we couldn't do that. Obviously, we hit it thick. And uh, on the second occurrence there, you could see he left a red. We tried to get round and play past the brown, but we misjudged it slightly. Hit the brown very thick. In fact, pretty much full ball. And that's the result. Judd Trump, you would say, 
within a few minutes here, is going to take the opening frame. But I don't think that's that's really of a judgment that we've done too much wrong. Just these top players, as we've seen, 20. when they're playing at their best, just need one chance. And that's exactly what we've seen from Judd Trump here. So not going to get too worried about that. 27. So six reds left at the table. Now make that five. So we need to colour and the next red. And that'll be the first frame ticked off. So the red's there. That's a uh, total score of 65 so far. Break of 41. So no chance. Well, there is actually. If he scores on blacks, um, he had got a chance there, I think. 48. Yeah, he had to get a century, but now he's played the blue. He uh, won't be able to do that. And uh, he's played safe there. It might be an idea for us to carry on in and try and get our eye in. Don't see any harm towards that. Got to pop this red first. This isn't easy, but again, it's well worth having a go. Just to get our eye in, knowing there's no pressure on us. That one's just about rolled in. Needed a bit of help. And I think the way we've been playing recently, I think this is a very good tactic. Just to get our eye in. We know we have lost the frame, by the way. There's no chance we're going to play any snookers because we would need seven snookers from here. So that's not the aim. The aim is just to get our eye in. It's effectively just like a practice table now. No pressure involved. Maybe it's not commonplace. I don't know, but I don't think there's any harm. Doesn't want to ever hit this. Just gives us some confidence going into the second frame. And it might look fairly basic, but sometimes you can't even do the basics, so that'll give us some confidence. 24. Only the colours remaining. Underdone slightly onto that green, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get on the brown. Might be a bit of a fine cut into this bulk corner pocket. I could do this bouncing off the cushion or not reaching the cushion. Mm. That's okay. It's a good pot on the brown. Long distance pot now on the blue. Definitely the toughest part of this break so far. The long pot's on, and he's going for it. Good shot. Seem to have our eye in. I know it's only early days. And again, I will just make sure for those who haven't realised or not paying attention, I know I'm not going to win the frame here. Just the first frame, get rid of some jitters from the way we played against Kyron Wilson. Although we did get through, we were the better player on the day. Would that match by four frames to two? And although we have lost the frame, that break of 51 there has given us some confidence. Gets our eye in. And hopefully we can continue that with some good work in this second frame now. Now the question is, we all know that uh, Mark Williams has been instrumental in introducing a new break. I'm not confident enough to play that yet in Snooker 19. But uh, that break that we've just played has been deemed the old-fashioned break now. Oh, God. What is this game coming to? Half chance here. Going to be a tricky one to get onto another shot after this. Because that red was going to probably cover the pocket as it does. One. However, gives us an opportunity at least. In fact, what am I on about? Of course, it doesn't cover the pocket at all. I did think. I thought, mm, let's go back to this. And if you never try, you'll never know. Yeah, played it Feels well. like there's a reference to a song in there somewhere. Nine. 
This is going to need some good queuing. Might be not as bad as our first thought. An long potter, and he's taking this on. But we'll reserve judgment on that until the blue drops, which it has. It's a beauty. 14. And like uh, the first frame, not much of a safety battle, that's for sure. Looking to play this softly. Just a soft shot, trying to make a good judgment here to come back for the black, and we have done. 15. And although I don't want to burst anyone's bubble too quickly, this has been a much better start here than we made against Kyron Wilson. And I've done for a little bit of a while. So, very good split there. Really opened the table up here. Has opened the table up, certainly. However, when you get so many options, it's important you take the right one. Oh, this is a tricky shot if we're going to play this. I mean, actually, there's nothing easy on here, I don't think. really isn't. This one to the middle is a good shot, but if we miss it, again, we'd leave Judd Trump a massive opportunity. But I think it's our best chance. We just can't really afford to play safe from here. He's taking this on to the right middle. But it's there, right in the heart of the pocket. And we can breathe a bit after that. Because that could have very easily gone wrong and made me look like an absolute fool. Which, again, has, has been done. Let's just try and get our eye in, score some points here. 28. I mean, if we want to be clinical, try and get that frame back in this visit. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. No problem Good pot there. over range. Oh, wonderful shot. Twenty-nine. Well, I should say over distance, I suppose. If we take on the black. There's nothing easy here. It's a funny old table setup at the moment. They're all spread out, but not really in a good way. They're they're almost blocking one another here. Which can happen. Well, no surprises here with the long well, that being pocket. said, although I'm talking down this chance a little bit, it is still oh, a chance. If you can pick off the reds one by one, they open up. Thirty-five. Try and play a cannon here. Yep, nicely done. Just opens another option. But we don't have to force as such. But I think here probably the right decision is to play up for pink probably. Maybe even maybe the blue actually. Let's keep the pink where it is. We don't want to put another variable into the case of that pink being down with the red balls. Again, another pot that could be blocked. 43. This is refreshing, isn't it? Having a having a break of some kind. Been good stuff so far. Forty-eight. So if we can bring this back to one each, would be a good start. So I don't think we did a whole lot wrong in that opening frame, but we won't be given the chance here. We've taken it at least for the moment. A little bit too straight on the black here, I suppose you could say, but it's no real issue. Really well mm. played. I wanted to hit that one slightly, 56. which I'm not as comfortable with. I'll play the long pot here just to just see something I'm more comfortable with—a straighter shot. And you're always best playing shots you are comfortable with. I could also control position a little bit better from there. And we stayed on the high value colours throughout the break, albeit playing more blues than blacks, but it doesn't really matter. 
So there'll be five reds on. Remember, of course, there's the one at bulk after we pop this. Going for the left corner pocket. So I think we'll just need the colour, and that'll be the frame secure. He really looks in fine form at the moment. 63. Doesn't go to the middle, but there's a potential plant on, but I'm quite all right not to type that at this point, thank you. And just the black ball required, and it's there. So, as usual, the common phrase, barring snookers, it's back to a frame apiece. It's uh, been, been been good signs from us. Tempted by this red, tricky red, but it's there. We're definitely on our marks if we're potting something like that. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm only recording this the day after I recorded the previous match. It's just amazing how things change a bit of time away. Seventy-eight. I do think that that opening gambit from us was was crucial. Just getting our eye in, no pressure. We can potentially look here, trying to make a century now. He's aiming for the left corner here. Just see if the red does go, which it does. Just got to make sure we don't come up too much, so that the brown gets in the way. Beautifully done. And that's the first pink of the day. Eighty-five. Uh, break of eighty-five now. Move the yellow along. I don't mind about that too much. Just wants to get on one of the higher value colours. Eighty-six. Just making sure that these do go to the middle. It was pointed out um, from some comments from the last episode, which are quite quite, quite right that we just assume far too many things at the moment, and when they're not quite there, then we have a problem. But just making sure of position and that the pots go isn't any harm. This is tough. And Good pot, goes. but we've left ourselves a tricky one on the pink. You can plan all you want, but these uh, shots are never easy. We might have to play it into the middle as well to get best position here. Lining this one up to the middle. This is tough. No, it's slightly off our marks. We couldn't really do with playing that pink with the easiest shot into the bulk, uh, bulk pocket to give us position. It just wouldn't have happened. So we had to play that one into the centre. So a little bit of a misjudgment, but I think they'll be forgiven for that. A break of 92. Remember, straight from the break off, we found a red and it all went from there. Thank you. This has been some high quality snooker played so far. Tricky safety coming up. We didn't want to play that. That did not go well. Just hit that really so tricky. slightly out. It hasn't worked out all that well. Wants to hit that fin and then come up back up the up table, up. but unfortunately, One. we've left Judd Trump a, Trump a chance straight from the break off, which is disappointing given the work we put in to win the last frame. But ho hum, these things happen. So just kind of trying to keep things tight. And there's such small margins for error. So what can Judd Trump make of this chance? Let's see. Fifteen. Twenty-two. So nice use of side there to get onto the next red, but uh, no, it just past the pink. I thought mm, might be a bit of a Bit of an issue there, but alas, there wasn't. And after he's picked off those few reds that uh, were separated from the pack, they're more in a cluster, as you can yeah. see now. So it'd be tricky for him to split these unless he really goes for it. In a shot that Judd Trump is known for, just to open up the reds. 29. But he's too straight on the black to do that this time. So he either opens himself up for a half chance, or... Declares that it's under break. 36. So what is he going to do here? I don't very think he can see the pot. No, he can to the middle pocket. And he's played that very well. 
great technique. So now a few big shots. 37, 42. He's just picking away at these, which is very unjud Trump like, actually. 43. But in fairness, opens up another one. Still got to get into that cluster of six, mind. And I think that one at the bottom of the pack will go, actually. So maybe not as difficult as I previously expressed. But he's still got to get some fine position. 57. So this is a tough pot. He's either going to play this fin into the centre. You'd expect he'll play it up to bulk. Well, let's see what he does. This is really tricky. What a pot that is. Excellent stuff. He's playing the blue. And uh, hasn't really got too much leverage for that. So that might just be end of break. Unless he plays this... Finn and tries to pot it. Well, where's the cue ball going? Well, he's hit the jaw there. He's hit the middle jaw, and I don't think he was anticipating that one. And this could be a way back in here. Tough pot on the red, though, to open things up. It feels like we've got to go for a pot. Safety is going to be tricky from here, so need to play a good shot all round. And the red's there. And we should have position on the pink. One. I think it's tricky, really is, to keep it going here. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. But this could be a bit wayward anyway. Tricky shot, and we've missed it, but I think that might be like our that. chance run. Unfortunately, there he's going to pop the next red, which will finish us off. Neil Robertson, one. This red required. So a bit disappointing, but that's the way it is. You know, sometimes it was a tricky chance to take care of. Um, you know, we could have played safety, sure, but we went for the jugular. And you could say an opportunity missed. You could also say Judd Trump had played well up to there. And we just needed to go on the attack. Or else Judd Trump would have probably found a chance anyway. So what I'm saying is, and, and to defend myself, is that the probabilities are that the frame was probably already lost anyway. More gap through there to get through. That'll do. That's a nice shot. And this cue ball's got a nice line. It's still got a nice line. And it's still got a nice line. That is a good shot. It's going to have to play these two on the edge of the pack. And he's played that a little bit thicker than maybe he would have liked. And as a result, he's left a half chance. We're absolutely going to try and take on. This is this red. Try and navigate round so we don't hit the the black. That's what I'm aiming to do here. Are we tricky? Really Good nice pot. No, we have hit the black. That's not going to help things. Ah, the black right in the pack. I'm going to try and make something of this, but with that black off, it's tricky. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. But it was a good long pot, nevertheless, to open things up. Just made oh so much harder by the black not being in play. He's playing for the right corner here. Great shot. Really but it's not all about game. making the, the clearance as such. Just get some points on the board. Let's see where we, we end up. This isn't an, an easy chance, but then the chance for Judd Trump wasn't easy in the last frame, and he made a decent go of it. This well, is going to be marginal. To be want to make sure we don't under-hit this and put it in the centre pocket. We're trying to get the right side of the blue. Really good. It's a dangerous shot if we get this wrong. Should be okay. I'll try and go into the pack. Don't apply this with too much power, just in case we do indeed miss the blue. But you can't, I guess you've got to kind of just go all out in this sort of instance. And we potted the blue. If we had any sort of chance that's come out, we've got a red that's come out. 18. 
and that's been beneficial to us. So I opened a few doors potentially. Just got to be tight here, in and around the black cushion. Position looks good for a colour. Nineteen. It's just that black bean hold up that makes this so much more harder, much more complex. That was a bit thicker than I thought it would be. Twenty-five. Hmm. But this does go to the middle pocket. It was very thin, thick though that we hit the black. So we'll play up to try and pot a bulk colour after this. This is getting tight, but I think this is worth taking on. Half a chance. And it's dropped. Good pot. That's a great pot. Just about skim past the blue. And this is tough. It is. It's not as open as the frames previously. And we're. Trusting the look of the snooker gods here with top spin. Didn't want to hit that brown so thick, but it's worked out okay. We've got a nice potting angle. And the pink has been opened up as well. He's looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. Just about past the pink, that will do. He seems full of confidence at the moment. Third. Again, the main restrictive factor is that we haven't got the black in play. And that's all by virtue of that first shot we played in the break. However, that black... Let's have a look at this. That black will go. So let's try and get that black back into play. That makes things a lot easier. I'm 99% confident it will go anyway. Let's have another look. 37. Yep, there's definitely a gap there. Definitely a gap. Problem is, we haven't considered too much. Is what do we play after that? We're almost a little bit too straight here to, to force the cue ball into the reds. Might be a plan, Tom, but we're going to disrupt that anyway because we're going to get, I'd say, an inevitable cannon with the reds. So if it's going to be inevitable, we might as well play it well. So we'll go straight into them. Oh, just not with enough pace. Hmm. It's a real shame. Neil Robertson. So touching ball here. Touching ball. Just coming off the cushion is Judd. The aim, I would say. I don't know what we do here. Do we just play up to the red? I think it probably the best thing to do is play up to this one on the side cush. Because even if you can potentially see one into the middle pocket, it's going to be really tight queuing from there. Tough shot coming up. One. But it was a risk that we let Judd Trump take. Ah. <sighs> did all the good work. We were just a bit too straight on putting the black back into play. Just didn't give us any leverage. That was our shortfall there. That's annoying. Well. And you just feel that Judd Trump will pounce on this. You really do. But that's tr oh, that's going to be tricky from there. He's going to play it, and he's played it well. But from that position, my God, that was tough. I guess you could say these two balls on the cushion might be hindering Judd Trump. Twenty-one. And he'll need those, of course. Twenty-eight. And now he's put three balls on the cushion. Twenty-nine. So let's see how he approaches this. Big shot here. He's playing the pink. Thirty-five. Ah, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Just about got it right. It's 
It's all about fine margins, of course. I'm guessing he'll play the black here and try and get on the cushion. Yeah, which he has done. A little bit off, so he's going to play safe here. Not quite on his marks, and he has been punished for that. But he's played a good safety, as you can see. Excellent safety shot. So how do we get out of this? Should Trump, 43. I don't think this is going to have enough pace on it. No, misjudged that. But I guess it was more so thinking about damage limitation. If he pots this red, still going to be tricky to get onto the one on the cushion, but I, I, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm just not a big safety player. Where we really uh, blemi uh, blemish is where we really... What's the word? Where we really do well um, is when we've got a chance and, and not in these cagey situations. And unfortunately, that short fourth one in our game is going to show here. <sighs> Going to be free one down. Sixteen. I was just stuck with what to play there. Really was. Because he'd left the red in play. Judd safety has been impeccable. Really has. But I mean, he can't get on the brown. He can't get on the brown. I thought that was just going to be a uniform. Wow, that was just amazing, that. Right, let's focus on the pot here. We have got a chance. We could go for pot and position. I just want to make sure this drops in. Leave ourselves a bit ham hampered for the blue. I understand that. But I want to make sure that black went. And this, uh, sorry, that brown went. But this is a chance now. It really is. Tough well, blue. I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. But it's there. Uh, that's we flourish. Uh, that's the word for blemish. Don't know where I got blemish from. But we really uh, flourish when we have a good potting chance. And that's what that's what our game is. We're, we're a potting man. We, we know... How to do that generally. He's and pink and black. Right and we'll have stole this frame. And I think that would be a huge surprise. So just the black needed. We've positioned ourselves well for this. No need this to muck about and play it too hard. But that one is in the pocket. And what a steal that is. Judd Trump just needed one ball. 22. You could hear him in frame. my size and in my voice that, that I really thought that was all over. But we've stole it with the last four balls on the table. And it's fair to say 3-1. Could have been more damning. A lot more damning for us than 2-2. Two, two. At 2 each, is the best of 3. 3-1, three, there's a lot of pressure on. And this is anybody's game now. But another good shot played by Judd. We like our long pots. And we've got a pretty good long pot success rate. So, it's left to tempt her. Let's see if it goes. And it's there. Good pot. And we played that with some pace and it's left the black in a potable position. So we left the tempter off the break and we've took it. We've took the bait, but it's worked for us. It's worked to our advantage. Now, admittedly, this is one of the elements I don't like. I'm not very good at judging these shots. Never have been. That's why the cue ball sometimes comes flying off the table. Yep, like that. Sometimes comes flying up the table. I'm just, I just haven't got the judgment for those shots. I think no. backspin is my real confidence. Uh, just because you know where the ball's going there. There's no ambiguity. But nevertheless, we're okay. We had the pink to, to play on. Put the pink now not on its spot, which makes things even trickier. Oh, the world is against us here. I think this will go at this pace, but it's just making sure of it. Come on, red. Come on, red. Oh, it's dropped. Now, we've not got the best angle at the black on the black even at that, amazingly. So, we'll try and go into the colours a little bit aside. I don't think it's going to work. Like, into the reds, even. I don't think this will work. We might... 
Need a bit of backspin just to get the cue ball moving. We've hit the pink first, but the problem with that side spin which is that the cue ball didn't necessarily act in its usual manner. And it's come back down to the black cushion, but a little bit of a size of luck here, certainly, um, is that we've got a position on this red. One player from element of safety in mind. Half chance. Half chance here. But it's there. It's dropped. Position looks very good here. But it's not been handed to us on a plate, this, and still won't be. We've got a lot of good shots to play to keep this going. Long pot, right up his street. Now that's right out of the top draw. Might be worth trying to get an extra split on these reds following this next one. He's aiming for the left corner here. Tremendous pot. Mm, not quite going to happen. I haven't got the position on the black to to muster that. Yep, blue goes through the pack. Uh, what am I about? Blue goes through the pack. The red goes through the pack. Wow. Just a lapse in concentration there. Neil Robertson... That was our chance. Luckily, we haven't left too much on. But that was a lapse in concentration. They're usually dead certs for us, those shots. And look at what Judd Trump's done now. Oh, this is torture. We're not playing our best, but, you know, this is a big improvement on how we've played recently. We're just, we're just leaving those slight gaps. Not playing perfectly. Still got a bit of work to do to open up the reds, but once again, it feels like we got our get out of jail free card in the last frame. Well, it definitely feels like that. I don't think we'll get one here. That's a good split. It's a good split, but where's the cue ball? Well, that cue ball just about staying out. That could have been a second get out of jail free card, but I feel like Judd's used his now with that shot. But the red's nicely placed. 38. To retake the lead. We've come back at him twice and made it two frames apiece. And if he wins this one, we're going to have to do it again to force a decider. But we can take confidence. It's been progress from us. This uh, this event, however far we get in it, is is served a as a bit of revenge, trying to win the tournament that has unfortunately uh, not served us too well in terms of finals in the last two years. We've got to the final and been runner up. But also to get our eye in for the the three big events that will end the season. Three of the, the the last two have got the biggest prize money. The tour championships are hefty whack as well. At six figures. 54. So he's made light work of this. 61. He just needs the next red and the colour. And it will be free to Judd Trump. 69. 70. Did some good work in that frame. But unfortunately it was all undone. So we are 3-2 behind. A lot of work to do. We need to win the next two frames. Judd Trump has uh, one to win with two bites at the cherry. He can make the first century of this match by potting all the balls here. He's certainly going round the houses, I'll tell you. Jesus. Mary and Joseph. But he's got a potential break, 104 on here. But he needs all the balls to make that. 91. Very bizarre deciding to play safe there, unless he completely misjudged the shot, I'm not sure. But nevertheless, uh, it's a good break of 91. 
Our break, I think, was 92, so he's not quite made the high break of the game. So at least if we lose, we've got that little bit of honour. But uh, two frames to go at the max here. We need to win both of those. And Judd Trump, we cannot really afford to give him any sort of chance. Oh, he's a lucky boy, that red doesn't go. He's got a good line, needs to keep running, needs to keep running. Mm, I don't think even at that we've got the, we've got the, uh, well we have got the cover. I didn't think we had, but it was a brilliant snooker we played. Oh, well it's a foul and a miss. I was talking about this in a commentary for the Community World Championship the other night. You can't tell whether the red goes. I'd have been tempted to play that. And of course now he's hit the reds, he's uh, played a very good escape. Goodness me. What are the chances? I think we don't really have a choice here. Let's just play this one. It's not far off. Oh, it's dropped. What a shot that is. What a pot that is. We played that with safety in mind. It wasn't terrible, but it wouldn't have really got too much cover. And I don't think we were expected to be still at the table at this point, to be true. So, position's going to be tricky from here. Therefore, I think it would probably just be wise to play safe. That's beautifully no point going for heroics there. No point. Might as well let Judd Trump open the balls up a little bit more. This now does potentially become a nice chance for us. But we can't afford any lapses like that blue. We really can't. One. Black doesn't quite go, but it's okay. That blue will definitely go at that. Well, no surprises here with the long pot attempt. Brilliant shot. Six. But we're under pressure now. We know we can't make any mistakes. We've got a decent chance at bringing it back to free each. And forcing this decider. I don't think anything goes here. Hmm, there's that one there. How about from the other side? Looking from both sides now. <laughs> there's a song in there somewhere. Yeah, that one below the black will go, won't it? Is there anything else? Ooh, that's tight. At least I think that one below the black goes. Played it at a good pace. It's all about whether we've got the angle and crucially whether we've come down the table enough. Which I don't think we have, but we have actually. It's a bit of nice relief. Now the black doesn't go, which again makes this e harder even to sustain. But luckily we got the cheat blue. 13. But this doesn't get any easier. It's tight, we need to keep the cue ball on. A string, really. What a well, that blue wasn't bad under pressure. We need to, I think, rely on that blue a little bit here to keep us in this. Nineteen. Now, what leverage have we got here? I think we've got to go for one of these on the, the cush. That certainly brings the black into play. That will help us. Well, he's lost the cue ball a touch. Ooh, Would have wanted that under better control not liking here. that a lot. Twenty-four. Not liking that. 
And because I'm not liking that, I think we just duck out there. Play it safe. It was getting tough, and I just think that's the the last straw for me. I don't want to carry on anymore, really. But this has got a good line. We tried to get it in behind the green. It was close. But we've not left anything on, crucially, so that's okay. What's Judd Trump's reply? Rather unfortunate one for Judd. He's not played that well. Tough shot, but he could have played it better. Just wants to sink this into the left corner pocket. Oh. One. Has that gone far enough? He wants to go for the blue. Yes, it has. Phew. Sigh of relief. Well, I'm not surprised. Need to make sure we're on our marks here. in. I'm fairly confident of this. Tremendous it's spot. there. Good shot, that. Six. I think we can prove a point by making this break work. Been tricky. We've needed two bites at the cherry, but at least we realised previously that no, you know, we that positional mistake is too much, and we're just going to be chasing the cue ball around or worse if uh, it carried on like that 14 that's a good shot gets that red out of the way admittedly what not what I'd initially planned but I looked at that and thought ooh that could open things up that put the black banks into play Talk about position from here. It's 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 tight. Are we hoping for a good cannon? You know, it's awkward, but we'll see what comes of this. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Don't run too much. That's okay. Cue ball. Twenty-two. That's what we needed. Some real pressure pots now. Whew, that one just about dropped. That was tight. This is getting to be a lot of pressure now. I'm feeling it here. We've got a point to prove. Nearly across the line, but as long as there's still the balls on the table, Judd can come back. But after this, there'll be only five reds left. So, just this black needed. And the black, barring snookers, has put us into a decider. In it's been tough so far, but it's been a cracking match. A real good snooker on display. And that run of, well, I suppose it might not be actually. I was going to say that run of to me to you might end here. Well, will end rather, but no, it might end. It will only end if we win the next frame. Obviously, if Judd wins, then it's that Judd's had the lead throughout. Hopefully, we can stop that. And we have took Judd to a decider early on in the season. Didn't go our way in the Scottish Open. We gave Judd Trump an early chance, and as we've seen in this match, he's took it. It's fair to say that if we don't win a tournament recently, it's usually Judd Trump or Mark Selby that does. So to take out the world number two would be a big statement to make. And surely a big increase in our confidence going into the late stages, and of course the other tournaments that will follow. We're striking the cue ball well. Position's been okay. There's been a, been a few flaws. 60. But we're certainly playing a lot better than we were a few days ago. He's going for the left corner pocket. Down it goes. 
And I think we're well within our rights to just stay at the table here. Let Judd stew things over. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. And there's also the small matter that we might be able to make a century here, which I've just realised. So, luckily we played a high-value colour. We've kept that hope alive. Not that it really matters, but again, it's just not one of those bits in the pride stakes. Nicely onto the colour. 68. Overdone this one, overcooked it. But now the cue ball stops. 75. So that should be okay. A little bit tough to get on the green, mind you. Hmm, this is awkward. I just have to cannon onto the brown to hold the cue ball. Just the colours remaining. Yeah, it's still 77. tight, but probably better than it would have been. Oh, wow, that's off. Well, that's unfortunate. It stops us making the century break. Maybe it's just not to be in terms of centuries today, but nevertheless, it's three frames apiece, and we're now set for a decider. The winner of this will be through to the last four. So, one frame for victory. Let's see how these players approach this frame. Thank you, the seventh frame. Judd Trump. And there's an early chance for us here. This is a half chance. Oh, we've overhit that. So it might just be this red and that's it. That's an excellent oh. opening red. We've overhit it slightly and as you can see there's a potential for black, but yeah, I just don't fancy it from there. Really don't. So that plays a bit more power. Just the safety from here. Back up to bulk nicely. And uh, no expense spared really there. That was absolutely no fine. Robertson. Interesting dynamic with that black put off its spot. Oh, a few tempters here. But we'll let Judd take the hard shots on if he wants. We'll just play safe here. Get back to the bulk cushion. Yeah, more than happy with that shot. And if he pots an unbelievable long red, then, you know, that's what he does. And I think he's tried, sort of, to do that there, but doesn't quite succeed. Oh, no! Oh, did the same as what we did in the first frame, just slightly too much pace. That's unfortunate. And this is going to be a chance. If he can cut this red in, he can't actually, no. So maybe not a chance as such. Oh my god, he's made this difficult. Uh, we'll just play up to the red. I'm going to pot it at that angle you wouldn't have thought. However, we might like a poke into the middle pocket. The, oh, this is just too tempting. In a decider, really? Well, you know what? We're going to have to live with it if it doesn't drop. And it's a, a chance for Judd. We equally have to have a look at position here. Oh, this is tight. Well, he's taking it on. Shot! What a pot that is, but the cue ball hasn't gone as far as I thought it would have done. Ah, position's not there, but is it? Yes, we can see the pink. Hallelujah! This just doesn't feel right to me. There's something off about this. The cue ball being up bulk is going to make a safety shot a hell of a lot harder. So not committing to this too much. Although it's worked out nicely. We didn't need to be too aggressive there. This just feels... doesn't quite feel right. It was like something might go wrong, but you know what? We'll try and take this chance while we've got it, and we're very nicely placed for the blue. Thank God for that pig being available. 
because we hadn't gone far enough to get on the blue which we were originally planning for. But this is a chance. It's a tough one. I'll tell you what, we've been handed nothing on a plate today. So can we win this match from here? He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. Let's try and play some side, potentially get onto the black. Great queuing there. You can get that ball back into play, it makes things a hell of a lot easier. Yep, black's there, nicely played. Seems foolish not to pop this one, doesn't it? Now, my only spot of bother here is, can we hold for the, the green? I guess it's best to go hard and make sure we get the yellow. Should be pretty straightforward. Obviously queuing right off the other red. So that makes things a little bit more difficult, but that's absolutely fine. We'll go for yellow or blue here. I think we'll stick on the blue. This is unorthodox, isn't it? It's not your classic uh, century break, is it, at all? Very much just chipping away at the odd chance here. But it's working for us at the moment. Nicely on the blue. Depends how long this can go on. I think you have to be clinical when you have a chance, but you know what? You know, I'm gonna duck out of that. Just don't fancy it. And I think we're more likely if we carry on to make a mistake, but we haven't hit anything there, have we? Well, that'll annoy him. Oh, wow, we haven't hit anything. we are giving away four points, but Judd's playing on here. That's an interesting choice. Maybe because he knew we'd be confronted with this. Oh, that red doesn't quite go, does it, now? Hmm. Oh, we haven't hit anything again there. Is he going to try this one on the cushion? Oh, he did hit it, actually. God, that must have been thin. I didn't see any movement at all. <sighs> Pressure's on here. And look at this red. Oh, it's a do-or-die red, this. We'll live with this if we don't pot it. Oh, we've missed it. Well, we took the bite, and that might just be fatal. No more than half a chance here. That might just be fatal. But we've had our chance, so you can ask for in a decider. The question is, I mean, the table's wide open, isn't it? I can't see Judd Trump make a mistake from here. That's just a, such, a, such a shame, but it was one of those that you just see the Seven. the stars, in effect, with that sort of shot. You think, well, Ten. You know, bit of a silly Seven. shot, though, in reality, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. 15. Is that going to be it for the Gibraltar Open? Another quarterfinal exit. 17. I, did, I thought something didn't feel right about this. And it all stemmed from not hitting that brown, I think. Well, I said before we played the shot that we'd live with it if we didn't pot it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Pot it and it's a match winning shot. Miss, and as you can see here, it's a potential match winning shot for Judd. 33. Pot. He'll be very happy with the position here. Forty. It's played a good positional. 
It's got this red on the side cushion that might be a bit of a spot above it. I'd be playing safe here if I was Judd, but no, doesn't. This is the big shot. And he's dropped. I can't see being much of an issue now. I can't see there being much of an issue from there. Just a standard clearance of the colours. And just the brown needed. It's a tight one. But it's there. So the brown has dropped. Another decider doesn't go our way. And we just have to hold our hands up. We went for something that was aggressive there. And that decision, unfortunately, has cost us the match. But we played well there, you know. We hold our hands up. That We did very well. We had some good fighting qualities. And that's given me some encouragement coming up to the end of the season. Again, we get the highest break of the match, so that's a little bit of uh, comfort. But in the end, it was a tight one, but we just about missed out to Judd Trump. And, uh, well, our fortune of going out in quarterfinals seems to be carrying on. Oh dear, but we uh, exit the Gibraltar Open at the quarterfinal stage, so unfortunately it's not going to be our tournament in this career mode. But we get the high break award, that is some sort of solace at the very least. We're going to drop down the rankings slightly again, um, because we got to the final of this event two years ago. But Mark Salvi is the champ, so you know not a lot we can do about that. We have got the Coral Tour Championship next, and it's a best of nine in the quarterfinal, and that is about the hardest draw we could have got. Understandable, though, we are seventh in the rankings, so getting drawn against Mark Salby seems about right. A best of nine Whew. to get through to the semi-final. We've never got past the first round of the Coral Tour Championship. We've only played in it once, so I suppose something to do with that. Um, and I'll decide on Friday whether I'm going to do that in one episode or split it into two. Not quite decided yet, but uh, you guys will see on Friday what sort of decision... I have made. So if you enjoyed that, folks, make sure to leave a like down below. It's it's a shame we couldn't win the Gibraltar Open, but these things happen, and ultimately it was that one decision at the end that uh, led to our demise in the event. But comment if you enjoyed as well, and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. Thank you for your company today, folks, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.